Paul and I were in the same class, and we found ourselves learning about the Lord and really falling in love with the people that were in this class. And we all decided that we uh, we should form a band. So we did, and, and I found myself worshiping in a group that would go on to play a huge role in our family faith. Growing up, I was in a lot of rehearsals for the Sunday morning praise band and then at church on Sunday morning and then standing outside the fellowship hall kind of peeking in as the youth group would worship. Just at that, it's such a pivotal time in your development. Worship in and of itself is such a beautiful, precious time with the Lord. And, and to be able to also do that with my son is well, it's an experience I, I will carry for the rest of my life. I will always treasure it. When we got there, those songs that they sung that day, that was like they opened up and really hit us. And I do also think that it has to do with the way that they were presented too. They're just so engaged and it makes you feel like they're actually worshiping God. And the beauty of the moment is that I'm standing there with my son and everything in the room actually leaves. It's just that moment where we're together praising and loving the Lord. It really is a spiritual, deep, deeply profound, special moment. I love it. I mean, I think that what they're doing is beautiful and amazing. And when they're up there singing and leading us in worship, I feel like they're worshiping too. And it is definitely flowing into, into our hearts and into us. And um, it feeds us for the rest of the week. Last night we were talking and I was like, so mom, I saw that you put your hands up in church in worship this morning. And she'd never really done that before. And then I was like, the first time that we ever went to a worship night, somebody put their hands up and you were like, eh, I would just, I would just never do that. I mean, it's true. I, I just, for whatever reason, what was happening in that particular moment after Pastor Adam's sermon and just the song was um, gratitude that Jonah and Tori were singing. And just in that moment, I mean, I felt like it was me and those lyrics. And it was just something inside that clicked. Yeah, you just can't contain it anymore. And, and um, I feel like for me, and I can probably speak for the rest of the family, it's kind of like, I think going forward, we just want to experience that more. If church leadership, if our worship leaders and our band and our choir and director, the, the better and better we get at listening to where the Lord's taking us with worship, um, the stronger the response from the church will be. And I can already tell that there's there's a hunger there for something maybe a little deeper. Um, and, you know, it's our job in leadership to try to help that happen. I've seen videos from mega churches of like 1,500 people singing How Great Thou Art together. It's really powerful. We don't have 1,500 people, but we've got enough for it to be pretty, pretty powerful for us and for probably for the people leading the worship too. It's a different experience when you're part of it, not just like observing it. I'd love to hear and feel that. More people. Given that God can do infinitely more than we've asked for or even know to ask for, I would really like for Dripping Springs Methodist Church to be a place where people come and every trouble that we have melts away when you walk in the doors and you surrender yourself to the Lord and openly worshiping for the time that we're here. Just thinking about the future, I know it's going to be more than I could ever imagine. And not just in us, like through us, in the whole community, through the whole greater body, like what, what can be accomplished in the next however many years is, it's, it's amazing to think about. I just can't wait to see it. Whenever the music is going, I would say that's one, that's the, one of my most favorite parts. And also, I agree with everyone and with the rest of my family. This is a very good, this is a very good church. And I think that that's where 
I would want to plant this seed.